In this material world, following the path of the pure devotees who are well behaved and completely endowed with first class qualifications due to their having fully taken to the service of Narayana as their life and soul, is certainly the most auspicious without any fear and authorized by the Shastra. Sadhiti na jayam loke, pantha chemo akutu vayam, susila sadhavu jatra narayana parayam. So, the Shastra says that the association of devotees, narayana parayana, means devotees. Narayana para, one who has taken Narayana as the ultimate goal of life. Narayana, Krishna, Vishnu, they are of the same tattva, Vishnu tattva. So people do not know this. To approach the platform of worshiping Narayana or Vishnu or Krishna, that is the most exalted and what is called assured platform. Uh, this is like we get insurance. This is assured. Assured by whom? Assured by Krishna. Uh, Krishna is assuring. So many assurances there. Narayana Para. Krishna says personally, I shall protect you. People suffer on account of sinful reaction. Ignorance. Out of ignorance, they commit sinful action. And sinful action reacts. Just uh, like a child, ignorant, it touches blazing fire and it burns the hand and he suffers. You cannot say that child is innocent and the fire has burned. Uh, no, this is nature's law. Uh, ignorance. So sinful activities are done out of ignorance. Therefore one should be knowledge. Uh, ignorance of law is no excuse. If you go to the court and if you plead, sir, I did not know that I have to suffer I have to go to imprisonment for six months because I have stolen. This was unknown to me. No, known or unknown, you must go to the jail. Therefore, the greatest contribution to the human society is knowledge. To keep them in ignorance, in darkness, that is not human society. That is cats and dogs. Because they are in ignorance, and nobody can give them knowledge, neither they can take. Uh, therefore, uh, in the human society, there is an institution for uh, giving knowledge. Uh, that is the greatest contribution. And that knowledge is, supreme knowledge is there in the Vedas. Vedaishta Sadvai. And all the Vedas ascertain that one should know what is God. That is one. Don't make that sound. 
Vedaisya Sadhvi. People do not know it. This whole material world, they do not know what is the actual knowledge. They are busy in temporary things for sense gratification, but they are not aware what is actual the goal of knowledge. Nati vidu sātva gatiṁ hi viṣṇu. The goal of knowledge is to know Vishnu, God. That is the goal of knowledge. Dhātu brahma jīgyāsa, jīvasya tattu jīgyāsa. This life, the human form of life is meant for understanding the absolute truth. That is life. And without trying to understand the absolute truth, if we simply are busy uh, how to eat little comfortably, how to sleep little comfortably, or how to uh, have sex little conveniently. Uh, these are animal activities. Uh, these are animal activities. Human activity means to know what is God. That is human activity. Nati vidu sārtha gatiṁ hi viṣṇu durāsayāji vahiratthamāt. Without knowing this, they are struggling for existence. They will want to be happy by adjusting the external energy, bohiratvamāni. And people, leaders, andhāja-thādhīrupuniyamāna, ask big, big scientists, philosophers, what is the goal of life? They do not know. They simply theorize, that's all. The real goal of life is to understand God. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. 